Helicopter 3 and Northern California's number one news team. This is Channel 3 Reports. I don't figure kids are safe going to any school right now, not the way things are. Not only Johnson, I think schools all over. A parent reacting to a double shooting at Sacramento's Hiram Johnson High School late this afternoon. That's our top story tonight. Two students are in the hospital after that shooting. One is fighting for his life tonight. Now, authorities say they are looking for the gunman who fired three shots into a school hallway about a half an hour after school was left out. Let out, I should say. Police say it started with an argument and then ended with gunfire. Channel 3's Sam Shane has the latest now live from our newsroom. Sam? Dave, two teenage boys were shot at Hiram Johnson High School today about 3.45 this afternoon. An 18-year-old and a 16-year-old. One is in critical condition tonight, the other in stable condition. And tonight it appears that the shootings were the work of a gang. We were sitting back today thinking, oh, yeah, we had a pretty good day today. But all that quickly changed for Principal Don Giusti and everyone at Hiram Johnson High School. Heard three pops in the hallway. Those three pops were three gunshots. Two of the bullets from separate guns struck two teenage boys who were students at the school. Moments later, they were wheeled out on stretchers and taken to UC Davis Med Center. One victim is the nephew of Mariano Tobar. Police told him the shootings appeared to be gang related. No, they said two guys that uh, Chinese, probably it's uh, two uh, Chinese boys that, uh, that uh, chewing. We shot him. But we, we don't know what. Uh, What's happened? Minutes later, they arrived at the hospital where friends and family of the victims waited and where Mary Perez talked about the victims and gangs. It's too many. Another friend of his, Josh, he was on the news too. Got attacked over there at Taco Park. There's just too many of his the friends of the gangs and everything. Some of the parents of the students here at Hiram Johnson say they are concerned for the safety of their children. But school officials tell us tomorrow they will beef up security in the hallways. Virgie Faison came to Hiram Johnson tonight to make sure her girls got home safely. She had not heard about the shootings until we told her. I don't feel safe driving my car. I don't feel safe walking over here. I want to get my girls home before dark and get out of here. Now, in addition to more police security guards and hall monitors tomorrow at Hiram Johnson High School, school officials tell us they will also have psychological counselors on hand to talk to any of the students who might want to talk about the tragedy there today. Dave? And Sam, what about the gunman? Police have any leads on suspects tonight? Well, they're being real quiet about all of this. Uh, they are, are obviously investigating this, and there were a number of uh, gang police types at the scene today doing some investigation, and one source close to this investigation told me that they do have some very strong leads in this case, but they're not talking about it. All right, Sam, thanks. Mm -hmm. Close. A football player at the University of Southern California is in the hospital tonight after being wounded as the team worked out this afternoon. Freshman John McGee was hit in the arm by a stray bullet. He was able to walk off the field on his own. Police believe the bullet came over or through a wooden fence surrounding the field. A Modesto woman is scheduled to make her first court.